Hello there and welcome to Gino's Garage. This is Jeff and we're going to be working on our 6V92. We're going to be changing out our injectors. So I'll be showing you the new injectors here in a minute. And we're going to be pulling this thing apart. We're going to do this bank here on the driver's side, which is a little bit harder to get to while I have all my fan uh, out. So it's going to give me a little more room right now to do this. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and take care of this now. One of those, well, I want to do this. And then I decided, well, it'd be easier if I put this hydraulic tank out of the way. And then while I have the hydraulic tank out of the way, I might as well replace the fan motor with the new fan motor that I got. So yeah, you know how those projects go. So we'll get into this and uh, here we go. So here's the new injectors we're going to put in our bus. These are 9G95. You see right here. Our bus currently has 9B Bravo 90s in it. So these are according to the uh, Detroit specialist guy that we deal with. The next size up for our 6V92. So we are going to spread these out. You can see I have these stacked as in the calibrations. So the, you can kind of spread these out evenly to try to make it run more evenly. That's the idea, I guess. Pick how you spread these out based on how the engine fires. So we'll figure that out at another point. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to be going we're going to be pulling our current ones out and putting these in. All right, so we're looking at the driver's side here. I'm trying to keep this camera where I can get to it. These bolts here, they look like they're a special head, but all that is is just a 12.38 socket. So it's nothing special, really. Yeah, just so these unscrew and I got these little gaskets we call them hockey pucks that little rubber donut seals the top I've replaced all these recently working on this bus so So the nice thing is, normally when I have all this other stuff in here, this won't come off. So, give it a good wacko. Should pop right off of there. There we go. Presto change it. Well, cover off to the side here, off screen. So this is what it looks like inside of the head with when you have Jake's. So these are the Jake modules. There's two drones, I call them, and one supply unit in the middle. That's the one that has a little solenoid on it. Uh, and then they have little jumpers that go between them that supply. So this little solenoid takes oil up through these passages and these bolts and it uses that oil pressure to actuate the jakes so this solenoid opens up and allows the oil pressure to go to all three of these units at the same time so when we take all this off we're going to have to redo all the adjustments so hopefully i'm Hoping I don't have to take the fuel jumpers off. I'm gonna try to do it up without, hopefully. So these are, whoops, knocking my camera around. Sorry, folks. The uh, 19 millimeter socket, please. So I'm just trying to make, I'm making myself a little cheater here. Help break these. And I 
probably should back off these other jumpers first. Hold, oh, please. Getting ahead of myself. Um, I need the wrenches, please. Yeah, so I almost forgot. You got to loosen these little uh, jumpers. The oil jumpers that I was just talking about. And loosen those up. Back that guy off. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in. I don't know what that yelling is in the background. So yeah, you back that jumper off and then it actually, so what it does is it screws out and forces a little rubber o-ring against the unit next to it, to the drone unit. So there's a little rubber gasket in there and it's good to replace those when you're ever working on these. So you need to back these off so you got enough space in there. Let's see if I can try to get you in there where you can see that. seasickness folks For some reason this thing is not wanting to focus or maybe it has some sort of focus lock on it. okay so yeah so here's this is the jam nut right here so you got to back this guy off loosen it back it up and then open pull this away from this guy we can do this one. Catch it. Oh, I whacked my camera. Sorry, folks. Gonna be a lot of editing on this one. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you back that guy off, and then this guy should just back up. So it gives you some room in between those two. Like I said, there's a little rubber gasket in there. I'll show you once we pull one of these guys out. It's kind of hard to get your fingers in here, especially with these gloves on. But I like to wear gloves, so. I'm a strange one when it comes to gloves. I've gotten used to wearing gloves because where I normally work as an electrician, for the past 20 years, we had to wear gloves all the time, no matter what we were doing. So, so yeah, there we go. So we got a little gap there, so we can now loosen these and pull these guys out. I also need to disconnect the wire coming off that Jake there. So we'll have to pull that guy off so we can pull this whole Jake out of there. So I'll put you back up here on the stand. Breaking all these big bolts. These are three quarter inch bolts. And they're pretty tight, so. You have to pretty much pull all these to get to the bottom, get to the injector, so. See, the injector lives just below these jigs. These jigs are both for 71 series and 92 series, so they have actually stamped right on the top of them 71 slash 92. And there goes my camera. Sorry, folks. Going for a ride again. So 
So apparently I bumped the camera and we missed some footage here, but as you can see, I got some of these off already. Um, pulling this last Jake off in the back. Ah, of course my light is dying. What you can see is I'm about stretched out as far as I can reach here to reach back here and get to this guy. So these guys just unbolt. Um, these are special bolts. I said that earlier. These are longer for the jakes. So they have to accommodate for the thickness of this jake sitting on top of the valve bridge stands. And then these are special bolts. They have a hole through them that the oil is pumped up in through here and that's how the oil gets to the jakes um, that also supplies oil through these uh, rocker arms and oils the rocker arms so you got to make sure you you can't just use any bolt these are special bolts for this uh, yeah let me get my, my light is flashing at me so we'll go into and I'll show you a little more about these jakes So that's one other thing I think, I just did a, a, a write up and one other thing I don't know if I mentioned that you need when you do jakes is these special valve bridges. Um, you need, so a normal valve bridge, and I'm trying to see if I can get this in here where I can, you can see it. Let me get these out of the way. So I can pick this rocker up and get it There's kind of limited room here where I can get in here sometimes you gotta use a bolt or something to turn this thing So I'm just pulling these valve bridge stands out of here. And these, if you have an old bus, um, they change these too. So you may need to change these if you have an, the older style. This is the new style though, this little narrow. So these are the valve bridges. Uh, let me see. Get in there. There we go. Okay. So this is what a normal valve bridge looks like on these engines. It's very narrow. You see the top of that. It's very small. So when you do jakes, you have to get on the on the one side here. You have to get these jake valve bridges. I don't know if this will come out of there with that fuel jumper. Get it out of there but the top of it is wider you see how that big round that's so that jake can push down on that and that's what when it opens the valve it has to have that big round seat for it to push down on to open the exhaust valve so we're going to pull this these injectors out we got an injector hold down clamp bolt back here once we get that out then we'll pop that injector out all right, so for those of you that were saying, hey, dummy, yeah, you can't, um, you gotta take the fuel jumpers off to get to, to get the fuel injector out, you dummy. So, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. You know how it is, some days. I like to call those any day of the week. <laughs> oh, come on. 
I do have the correct socket for these. And I'll end up getting that so I can torque these when we reinstall them. So this little guy is the is to hold the the wire for the jakes keep it from getting chafed inside the head. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get a wrench in here. I might have to actually get the socket out. Can you guys get the Detroit tune-up set out please? I think I gotta sneak this wrench in here and get these guys loose. loosen these hold down clamps. So this is a half inch bolt I believe. injectors out of this bus. So we're going to get up under the injector with this pry bar. It should just pop up like that. And here's another one. There it goes. If it's stuck, then you got another problem. Yes, it should come up pretty easy. Uh, you watched my other, I did a video with my buddies bussing. He had a fouled injector because the whole damn clamp wasn't put on properly and it um, it was a mess inside that because and I fought getting the injector out of the tube. So when you pull these injectors up you got to remember the rack. So a lot of people talk about rack on a Detroit. This is the rack. It's the fuel control rack. So that tells it no fuel fuel so in fact if you go I pull on the stop so see that's stop so that's no fuel all the way out so when it pulls this rack out you're at the no fuel when you're all the way in that's full fuel so look at the tip of that guy it's not in too bad a shape like diesel so typically I mean they can change these things but there's the little stamp that tells you 9B90, 9 Bravo 90. I suspect these are the original injectors for this engine. That's what this engine came with was 9B90s. So you just got to make sure, if you can see down in here, right down in there, where my finger's pointing, you got to make sure you're off of the rack, the, the control tube. This is the fuel control tube, which connects to the rack. So you just gotta make sure you're disconnected off that rack, and then that guy will come right up out of there. 
too bad looking. I'm just wiping the excess oil off of these. These are going to go back for core 